What do you think of that music, Matt? I feel like I'm in a club. That's the kind of crap we gotta deal with out here. Grand Central Station. What's up, everybody? This is Tuba Silver coming at you. We're uh, here at the uh, the woodland version of Grand Central Station. <laughs> it's me and about 130 million of my closest friends. Um, we're all hanging out over here at the at the saddle. Let me just show you what the, what we got going on. We got people there. We got people over there. You got Matt Matt Dunn right over there. People there. You got people coming up the trail over there. What do you say, Matt? Not a good day for me. Matt's about ready to give up hiking altogether. Well, yeah, it's going to be a good one. I, I can't imagine you guys will want to go watch some other video. Maddie, how many of these people are your friends? All of them. Every single one of them. There are a lot of people here. So there you go. You got people over there. You got people walking up the mountain where we're going. That's going to be less than optimal. People over there. People over there. People up over there. And people going down the trail. People coming up the trail. There's a lot of people here. This is an absolutely gorgeous day out here. Check out Mount Baldy right over there. Oh my goodness. If that doesn't look excru excruciatingly difficult, I don't know what does. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Maddie! Whew. I kicked my butt. That was not easy. No way, no how. How you feel? <laughs> like crap right now. <laughs> Seriously, dude, I, I haven't felt this bad in quite a while. So I'm looking forward to relaxing, man. The yeah. the backside over there looks pretty good. Looks like there's a couple of flat spots. I think we, we got two really solid spots back there. Seems empty as can be. So it's gonna be a good night tonight. Nice and quiet up here. All right, we are up here. Oh my goodness, this was not the easiest trail for us today. It didn't help that we came out on the hottest day of the year. It didn't help that every five seconds we had to stop for somebody. Dude, I don't think I've seen that many people on the trail in forever. I'm talking like in the history of my hiking and backpacking, which is not very long, I will admit. I have never seen so many doggone people on a trail in my entire life. Every, uh, easily every two to three minutes we had to stop. We couldn't kind of get our cadence going. And man, we just spent a lot of time carrying a ton of ton of gear, carrying a ton of water. We are up here, but man, that trail absolutely ate us up. So right now we are on uh, on the top of uh, Timber Peak. Oh, it's kind of. I know it's kind of blurred out in the background over there. I'll walk over there and show you guys. But we're at 8,303 feet up here. We're gonna spend the night on the other side over here. There's a couple of flat spots. And uh, I got some gear that I want to show you guys, some really fun uh, stuff that I got from Six Moon Designs. It's kind of made uh, some of the stuff that I do a little bit easier. And then I also have the Trekker, which I'm going to use tonight on its maiden voyage. It was already out here once to do product shots and the sausage soup uh, adventure. But uh, yeah, it's going to be its maiden voyage on an overnight here. So this is, yeah, my first trip of the year. Believe it or not, <laughs> it's been one heck of a year for me, but glad to be out here. And there we are. There's a Timber Peak sign, or the uh, Timber Mountain sign, rather. 8,303 feet. Looks like we've got a, uh, a new sign down over here, one I haven't seen before. But, uh, yeah, so we've got a couple signs here for Timber Peak. And the most interesting part of Timber is actually right over here where Matt's signing in. This kind of alludes to some of the history of this uh, peak. You see where it says Chapman Mountain over there. Let's get a little bit closer in here. This is Chapman Mountain. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I know there's a Chapman Trail here, but that's apparently where you sign in, right into this log. 
And uh, check this out, man. We should have brought a couple beers. We got a little uh, beer opener. Or uh, what the hell is it called, dude? I'm so screwed bottle up right opener. now. Bottle opener. Thank you, beer opener. Man, I'm exhausted. But yeah, we should have brought a couple beers up. Oh, that would be great. Oh, that would be so nice right now. Nice cold beer would be so fantastic. <laughs> Anywho, we are up here. Now the fun begins. <laughs> Because Lord knows that that stuff we went through just now was not fun. Well, here's my assortment of yummy treats that I brought. I would hardly call it healthy. It's uh, more along the lines of what you would find at probably a candy store. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Some, some of the stuff that I already ate on the way up. I had a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup with pretzels. Highly recommended. Had a little salami sandwich from Vaughn's. And what's left over here for uh, for tonight is a uh, I brought the jet boil. We're gonna be using that guy. Ooh, buddy, I love that thing. And I brought a, a BRC burrito that Matt made me a while back. I haven't eaten this one. I uh, gave it a gave it the old sniff test and <laughs> it passed. So I'm gonna go ahead and have that tonight. Some of my snacks include some uh, peppered beef jerky. The M&M's, as usual, and some granola. That stuff's really good. I, uh, my wife put together a package for Matthew, for Matt too. So he's uh, he's got a little pack of this really good. good stuff. And then uh, yeah, tonkatsu soup. I don't have the sausage with me this time, but that soup right there is highly recommended. What I'm going to be doing to protect my food tonight is I I brought the Ursac. Um, I was not, uh, I was not thinking of bringing the Ursac, but Matt was bringing his and I thought, you know what, that's an excellent idea. I should bring the Ursac too. But that is, uh, pretty much the stuff. And then down over here, my assortment of Propel's and Taster's Choice coffee that I'm going to drink black this time. No, no more futzing around with, uh, cream or sugar or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, we got everything a growing boy needs over here. And as far as the gear is concerned this time, I went ahead and I brought... The Skyscape Trekker, which you guys I'm sure have seen in the Sausage Soup Adventure and a bunch of my adventures. This is actually the new version. This was sent to me by uh, Six Moon Designs. And uh, this is my uh, shelter of choice for this season. But yeah, sets up real nice. Got a nice uh, bathtub floor there. I mean, it seems like every single year, this thing gets more, more refined, and yeah, I love this tent. This is a good shelter right here. Looking forward to using this thing. Okay, so right now, what I'm gonna do, Matt has already started, he's got a soup going. That sounds insanely good. I'm gonna go ahead and actually make some miso soup. Oh, that was one thing I forgot to mention. I got the miso soup going down over there. So, so I'm gonna be doing the miso soup. Right now, I need to get some salt in me. But, uh, yeah, it's odd, man. I, I still haven't quite recovered myself from that hike. Um, I put together my shelter and stuff like that because I was contemplating taking a nap even. I mean, that's how incredibly tired I am. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're having a good time. We, we just need to kind of get, get back to being normal, normal human beings again, which is not exactly the easiest thing to do after that, that little jaunt up the mountain. So... Yeah, Matt, uh, you feeling? Matt, you feeling any better? Yeah, I'm feeling a little better now that I'm eating stuff. Yeah. Sitting down. I think being in the shade also kind of helped too, man. Yeah, we were getting started getting hot at the end there. Bro, we were getting scorched, dude, and we were literally moving. Hot shade hopping. Yeah, Matt said it perfect. We were shade hopping. I mean, you know, expend enough energy to get to the next shady spot, and then wait and you know, take a little quick break. But you know one one thing that's super nice, man, is that we don't have a ton of people up here. There was a couple people that came up. I don't know where they walked. I don't know if they even walked past us again to leave. But uh, really, we've only seen a couple people up here. I doubt anyone's gonna hoof it up here at this point. Everyone uh, goes up to Cucamonga. Yeah, there was. I mean, all the people that were in the parking lot, they are all at Cucamonga or Ontario or something like that. And uh, it seemed like very few people had come up to. Uh, to timber mountain and definitely doesn't look like anyone's gonna be sleeping here tonight so you know we might still actually get a nice quiet evening so that's gonna be that's gonna be nice
Anywho, I'm gonna get my stuff going, try to uh, feel like a normal human being a little bit more. And yeah, if something cool happens, I'll let you know. But uh, <laughs> Matt and I, well, maybe Matt is known for cool, but I certainly am not known for cool things. So uh, the video may very well end right here. Okay, so I know how much you guys love gear. I, I definitely love gear. Um, I have switched to the Jetboil. I'm using the Jetboil uh, Micromo. Recently, Matt got the Jetboil Stash. And the difference between the two is that I have the stove that's uh, kind of got, I don't know, is it even like a wind screen or what the heck is that thing around it? It's, it's that bigger jet boil stove, but this one in particular, Matt, if you want to hold that guy up, actually the stove real quick, it actually has a, its own standalone stove. And I just watched yeah, Matt it boil. Kinda, it's got these notches in there, so yeah. then they can sit in there and it's not going to... Yeah, not going to shake off. And shake off or anything. I will tell you right now, I witnessed Matt boil water what seemed like less than a minute. Yeah, it, it, it was quick. insane. It was pretty quick for a ramen. So it wasn't like a whole ton of water, but it was a decent amount. And uh, yeah, it was about less than a minute. Things I do like about it is that everything stores inside the pot. Your gas canister, your, your lighter, your stove, um, even the pot stand. All fits in here nice and snug it doesn't rattle around which is that that was pretty cool i have to admit you you gave grabbed it and gave it a quick shake and like basically it made no noise so yeah. you know mine is uh you don't, you don't need a bear bear bell with this thing you just give it give it a couple <laughs> shakes and it'll scare every animal but yeah that, that that was a pretty cool part um the only the one of the drawbacks that people are complaining about there's no regulator on here but they did keep it off to uh keep the weight down on it so that's why you can't simmer but this thing is meant just to boil water which it did perfectly it's going to do it later tonight when i make my dinner but um yeah it seems like a pretty cool piece of gear here i uh, like it so far i will say it's, that i held it it's it and it feels like it's just perfect it's almost like msr titan level perfect of size you know like it's not that size it's bigger uh -huh. but it just felt right you know like yeah you, you can still like boil up a, like a little soup or stew in this thing and it'll still be a, a perfect amount for one person yeah i um, i think that thing's a winner dude i i'm i was a little bit on the fence when i first saw it but uh, now that i'm seeing it in person yeah the, the I one like it. the one thing um i would say is that it's not windy up here so we're really not getting a chance to test the, the wind status on it. i mean there's a slight breeze but it did fine with that so i mean it'd be interesting to see how this does in wind because the the stove does sit off yep. of the the guards here so i am assume that it'll get wind on there but we'll see yeah i mean you can always throw it in you know in front of a tree or rocks and stuff like that because yeah, you know because normal... nothing because nothing's better at 8300 feet than picking up rocks and putting them in other places to set up a little rock wall because you know we're not tired enough now we're yeah, gonna go right? pick boulders and move them <laughs> but you can set up you would be able to set up next to the tree here yeah. next to the backpack you, i mean there's plenty of things that you could do to compromise uh, well that's wonderful news. Looks like I'll be buying some new gear soon because, <laughs> you know, that's what I need is more gear. Yeah, it, it's so, it's nice. I like it so good, far. Good stuff, brother. Yeah, I, I've never seen it that bad ever, 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 ever. If you're looking for solitude, I would not recommend Ice House Canyon. Yeah, dude, I don't know why. And you know what? I'll, I'll take the blame. Now, this is this solitude right here. Yes, yeah, solitude right here. But, dude, forget about... Uh, anything on the trail and dude don't even think if you got a cadence dude or something like that or you got a way that you hike you're gonna have to adjust yeah because there's people coming down there's people yeah. going up there's fast hikers there's 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 all kinds of stuff people don't know the etiquette like when you're going up and they're coming down they'll just keep oh going the and, trail runners yeah yeah trail runners just, yeah <laughs> they just keep going so <laughs> Man, I'm looking for a spot to sit down. Matt wisely brought his chair. I couldn't find my chair. I was looking for it, and then I just stopped looking for it because I couldn't couldn't locate it anymore. But I gotta find me a, a place. Put, put it right here next. To I, you. I will say this though: if you're looking for the uh, three-part type of videos where there's some kind of like thing that the uh, that the 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 people that are in the video a, a problem they need to get over, some kind of action that needs to be like the cornerstone of the video. It's probably helped Tuba find a place to sit because uh, the, the logs that, that are closest are kind of like far away and I'd have to like yell at Matt if I wanted to sit over there. So Can you put your Z-Rest right here up against the tree and kind of lean against it? 
Well, that's not fun. I mean, we just fixed the problem right then and there. I guess we can just finish the video now. You do like partial like up <laughs> and then on the ground and your butt's on the Z breast, Z pad. Look, I didn't actually expect you to fix my problem. You were waiting for the comments. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for somebody to comment to help me I'll out. I'll tell you what to do right now. That's right. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do anymore. Now, now I guess maybe, I don't know. It's a pretty good idea. I got an idea head. for you. You could uh, help me set up my tent. You being like super lazy about it. <laughs> that sounds actually like fun. I've been sitting here for about an hour and I just still don't want to put it up. Yeah. I and uh, believe you me, I had no interest in putting this up. <laughs> but it was only because I was planning on taking a nap because I was so tired and I was in no mood to just take it out like here I was like I'm not going to get all bugged up and well, what part, have you. Part of me's like, do I even remember how to set up this tent? That's kind of what my worry is. Oh my gosh. And then I have so upsetting I, to hear you say I that. I haven't seen my orange bag of steak, so Oh crap. They were in there. <laughs> well, here we are back to boulder moving. So, this, uh, this peak is a little bit devoid of actual boulders. I guess, you know, we can go down there and get some boulders, but I don't know. I'm in no mood to walk down or up anything any, at all at this point. So, well, our second big problem in this video has just been remedied. Matt found Yay! a stakes. <laughs> there you go. What? Don't freaking lose me. I love that. Is that from Hilltop Packs too? That is from Hilltop Bro, Packs. Bro, you right are, there. dude, Hill, Hilltop Packs everything, They've dude. They've got a number of things here. I got that. I got... Show us what they make, dude. I do like I do like my Hilltops Pack stuff that I got. I only have a bear bag from them. But it's a, quali it's a quality bag. I'm not going to lie. This uh, little... This, uh... Um... Here, let me let me set this up so so I'm not like jostling the camera everywhere. It's it's one of these R6s with those with those warpy. Uh... This is a um, fanny pack here. Cool thing about this fanny pack is it's a roll top, so you have all that extra space that you can fill it up with, and then it's just opened up. I keep snacks in there. My snacks. I can just grab two and batteries. Okay, which... now here's the cool thing though. This thing integrates into your belt. Yes. So I that, that part was pretty belt. cool, dude. I have to admit. So I got to give it up to Ben on that one. Ben McMillan, that was a good. Well, he, he's got a couple options where you can integrate it to your belt and you could also get the strap too. Um, I do have one other item in here. I also got, this is my bag for like all my stuff when I'm in my tent, like all the like loose bags. There you go. Everything else, just my dogs on a backpacking trip recently. I love that one, dude. I remember when uh, when you got that, dude. I love that. That's a cool graphic. Yeah, so it's, I just made the plan is just to throw everything in this bag. That's so, an excellent, dude. That's an excellent thing, dude. If there's anything that that I seem to always have a lot of is knickknacks, and what I do is typically I'll throw them in the bag that I carry my uh, my tent in. But uh, dude, that's pretty cool. That's a cool knickknack bag. And then I got one more thing is my poop kit here <laughs> and another dog scene there at the Huntington Dog Beach yeah enjoying the day too. so it's a dual sided it's their gadget bag which has two sides to it when you open this up there's a side here and then there's a side here so on one side I keep all my like the the wipes and the I got some baby powder and some other things in here and then the other side's like where I put the the used toilet paper and the you know my the poop scoop very nice so yeah that kind of leads me into what i'm gonna uh, show i have a number of knickknack bags that i got from smd that i want to show you guys i actually really like them they're working out pretty good so let me bring those on camera and uh, show you what i got all right so check this out these are the two things i want to show you guys that i got from six moon designs it's uh kind of their knickknack bag set it's like they're different sizes the the next size up I actually left that one at home, but it's it's exactly the same size as their pods. So that's the third size right over there. This is what I actually keep my tent in, believe it or not. Um, these pods work perfect for that, but the set comes with a smaller, medium, and then the regular size uh, bag. Again, I left that bag at home because I was just using these two, and this already had my tent in it, so I just grabbed this bag straight up. But uh, in here, similar to Matt, I've got my poop kit and kind of some uh, other toiletries and what have you, but it's just kind of like the perfect size for that to kind of fit all that stuff in there. Got my trowel in here, stuff like that. It's, uh, I like the size. I think that was the thing that kind of hit me when I opened up the packaging. I was like, whoa, these things are like perfect size. 
for like a poop kit. And then this guy is now my first aid kit. So I keep all uh, all the stuff that I that's associated with my first aid kit. I got my toothbrushes in here, uh, Luco tape, my earplugs, uh, things like that. I got a little knife in here too, and then the, the patch kit to my thermo rest in case I ever need that. Hopefully, I never need that, but that's also in here. I keep that with my first aid kit. But uh, yeah, I'm really really quite happy with how these these have been working out. I mean, uh, when I opened, immediately from when I opened them, I was like, ah. Perfect. This will be my first aid kit. This will be my poop poop kit. God, dude. Look at that. Perfect pitch from Matt Dunn. The, the uh, Z-Pax Altiplex. That is a gorgeous tent. I love it. There we go, man. This is SoCal soil. Ah. Matt's dealing with some cramps, cramps right now in his legs. Oh, oh those are the worst, dude. Oh, right here. Yeah. That's uh, that's not fun. But that tent, but that tent pitch, though. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's it's, it's absolutely glorious. Did not. I've been getting cramps all day. Yeah, dude. Day. It's it's been rough. All day. I don't know if I recommend those salt packets. Yeah, I do. I'd stay away from those things. I, I took multiple salt pills, and my cramps just got worse. Yep. I don't know what that deal is. Yeah, that was odd. <laughs> All right, so I am finally making some soup right now. I'm going to go ahead. Whoa, here we go. We're already heating up here. <laughs> I barely had this thing on. I don't want it to be too terribly hot. I want to be able to actually eat the soup. I don't want to have to have it sit around for a while, but I went ahead and I used a jet boil and I am going to make, I'm going to grab these guys. All right, so these are the things I'm going to be making right now, these uh, miso soups. All right, here we go. We got our miso soup. Just going to go ahead and give that thing a stir and uh, probably leave it for about a couple minutes to kind of reconstitute. But that's uh, a nice kickoff to uh, tonight's dinner number one and dinner number two. Okay, so this place has been utterly ruthless. <laughs> like, I, I feel a lot better, yet everywhere I walk, I'm out of breath and tired. So uh, maybe earlier I was feeling a little bit amped up from the trail and what have you, but it's definitely set in. I'm beat, man, just walking around here. I definitely have not been up in the mountains for a while. It's, uh, it's pretty clear at this point. So, but we're up here at the peak taking some pictures. Maddie's taking pictures on his amazing Sony. I may give my canon r6 a shot too and see what the heck happens i want to go ahead and give you guys kind of a little tour of our camp right now right over here is where we were uh doing all of our cooking got matt's chair right over there he's certainly uh <laughs> he's certainly better equipped than i am i'm just sitting on my butt pad which is right over there i mean it's working fine but you know it's certainly not like having a chair up here so uh yeah i'm a little bit jealous right now i'm not gonna lie um, over here, yeah, so this is basically where we've been creating our, or we've been uh, doing our food, and, uh, yeah, we've already had a, uh, a meal, I had, you know, dinner number one, I know it's kind of like a running joke with me, I had dinner number one, but yeah, dinner number two is coming up, it's going to be tonkatsu soup, and, uh, yeah, this is kind of like a nice little area for us to do our food, and then just down over here, this is where we have our, our actual, uh, tents. Again, I'm rocking the uh, Six Moon Designs Skyscape Trekker. This is the new version. And then Matt is rocking the uh, Altiplex by Z Packs. Yeah, this is uh, Catalina all over again. Yeah, he had his uh, Altiplex, I had my Trekker. Um, yeah, both of these shelters are absolutely wonderful. I really dig this new green on the uh, Six Moon Designs Trekker. Honestly, like the uh, the neon green was was cool. I grew to like it initially. I didn't like it very much But this new kind of this like dark Green I guess is the best way I was gonna say like a forest green But I don't even know if you can call it a forest green, but it's just kind of like this dark green I love the color of it and with the yellow accents and stuff like that. It just it just looks cool, man <laughs> Just call it what it is dude. It looks cool So let me back up over here and show you guys from behind I mean, you know, it just looks cool, dude. I love that shelter. It's a very functional shelter, too, especially if you like having kind of like an open feel. 
Um, I tend to be one of those people that uh, I don't always like having something that's like right on my head. Like some people value floor space. I absolutely value shoulder and head space. So like when I sit up in the tent, I want, I want it to feel like open. I don't need it to feel like it's on top of me, the tent. So that's why I really, really dig the Skyscape Trekker. You just get this nice open feel in it. But uh, yeah, I got the uh, Z-Packs quilt in there tonight. I am totally bundled up. I'm not bundled up 100%. I have yet one more layer that I could put on. I'm almost, <laughs> I was just checking myself out to make sure I didn't look too much. I didn't look too much like a grandma. Cause you know, old grandma Farisi in here, he's, uh, he's starting to get cold. He's starting to feel the brisk wind. But uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, gonna be doing some more uh, photography. We did a little bit of photography over there on the peak some stuff for our camp, but we're gonna actually do some photography now with the sun going down. We got Baldy out over there. Um, Baldy's just looking amazing. It's uh, a little bit blown out on the camera, what have you, but uh, yeah, for those uh, those of y'all that are uh, here, <laughs> which is just me and Matt, of course, uh, yeah, it looks really good. It's a little bit hazy, but it looks really good, and hopefully we'll get some uh, some nice shots. But uh, yeah, what do you say, Matt? How you feeling? I'm starting to feel, oh, feel a lot better, dude. Oh, yeah. Honestly, like, feel pretty good. <laughs> seriously, I dude. I was up that little thing pretty easily. Yeah, I I feel. I mean, I was breathing heavy, but. Yeah, but still, dude, I'm feeling way more like a normal human being again, and it's just way better than it was earlier, dude. Yeah. I, I got a meal in me, and uh, yeah, yeah, I got some. Uh, in comparison to earlier, yeah, it's way better. Yeah, we're way feeling better. we're feeling like we want to pick up the camera again and actually do some stuff yeah. as opposed to just sit there and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> let the sun further scorch Lop. us. So, Lop around. <laughs> there you go. We're going to go ahead and get some things moving, and uh, we're going to head down the hill just a little bit over here so we can get a little bit better shot. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have some, some good stuff for you. I got a time lapse going, too, of the sun, um, of the sun on my GoPro. We'll see what comes of it. I don't know. It looked a little bit weird in the... Uh, screen but I let it roll we'll see what happens with that and uh, hopefully we'll have some nice video for you guys so it looks like we found our spot that we're gonna be taking pictures from Matt's gonna go ahead and uh, set up over there I'm gonna get my camera down there soon as soon as I'm done here with uh, giving you guys this little update but yeah I think this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous um, one of my favorite uh, um, you know features of Mount Baldy, and man, I wish I, there was a way, like I wish I had a further zoom. I kind of got my wide angle lens on this uh, this trip. I wish I can zoom in a little bit more, but that that face that you see, which is roughly right about there, um, that's one amazing place. When you go up to Baldy, you actually go through this like rock field and there's this, these massive rocks over there. I mean, just they're, they're like the size of houses and you know they broke off from something, you know, nobody put them there. They broke off from the top of the mountain. And it just must have been absolutely amazing to see those things come crashing down. And yeah, you have to walk through this uh, like rock field and you just see this, this like, gigantic slope going up. And in the winter, sometimes people go up that slope, <laughs> which uh, they're much more brave than I am. I don't know if I would ever do something like that. But uh, yeah, Baldy's a very, uh, Mount Baldy's a very interesting place to say the least. Well, good morning, everyone. We actually slept really well, and uh, we're pretty much all packed up. I'm gonna have myself a quick coffee and some homemade granola right over here. Oh man, I am excited for this. That is gonna taste so good uh, with a little bit of black coffee. And uh, we're gonna start heading down the trail. It is Mother's Day today. Matt uh, needs to go and uh, be with family. I need to go and be with family. And uh, yeah, we had a really good night. And yeah, looking forward to to scooting on out of here. 